So I saw that uh, Math Fails is um, doing this uh, transgender thing uh, lately. I, he's uh, and, and he's uh, asked in his latest video, in one of his latest videos, uh, how how we his, his audience think about it. And um, you know the you know the the real answer is it's none of my business. What I think about it, you know, that it's your it's your life. You got to live it as as you see fit. Um, but you know, that's not really answering the question. What I think about it is, um, it's really got me like thinking because uh, there because to a certain extent, I I do feel uncomfortable about about it. Um, and you know, I I don't want to feel uncomfortable about it, but that's kind of how I. How, how I am right now, and you know, it, it's given me pause and it made room for reflection myself, you know, of like, you know, it, it's like I, I can, I'm more comfortable with hetero, with, um, with homosexual, homosexuality because there's a certain extent to which I can relate to it. You know, I mean, I, I consider myself heterosexual, but you know, I'm not, but I wouldn't say I'm 100% heterosexual. There's that. There's some part of me that can relate to, yeah, you know, attraction to my to people of my own gender. Yeah, so I can, I can sort of. So is that does that part of me I can I can understand, but yeah, you know, transgenderism. I guess I still have some resistance on that idea. It's because it's still like foreign to me. It's it's hard for me to relate to. Um, and I mean, I can understand getting in touch with your feminine side. I, I, that's the thing I do try to do and yeah, but, um, actually identifying as a woman to the point that, uh, that you feel like you have to, uh, actually, actually, uh, dress yourself as a woman and take on a, uh, feminine identity. That's to me is um it, it it's it, it's something I can't really relate to and it's and I think you know, men's natural reaction is to fear the unknown and so um and you know Matt, Matt Phil, this is not a judgment on you again this is a judgment on me you know, and and you know my resistance to it is something that is showing an ugly side of me that I don't want to ha uh, that I want to see it's Showing to me that I'm not as open-minded and tolerant as I'd like to as I'd like to be, but um, you know it is what it is, and so I mean, and, and you know I th I think that um, but I, I like to think that at least I'm mature enough to recognize that that uh, that's my issue that I have to deal with, and, and it's not, you know, it's not you, um. And, and I think that a lot of people, um, I, I think that's the problem with a lot of bigotry is people uh, just unreflectively act on their prejudices or, or on their um, fears and insecurities rather than reflecting on them and asking what it says about themselves. And so that, and so I'm trying to do a letter here and try to, I'm trying to be okay with this and, uh, and learn to, uh, Deal with it. I mean, in, in, in a sense, in a sense, you know, there's a certain sense to which I'm like, to which I'm like, okay with this as part of you, but not as your whole identity. Like, like I've always seen you as sort of like a person of multiple personas, and I get in, and there's a sense to which you know, like, this was one of many of your personas I could relate to. But but it feels like you know, I've also seen you take on a sort of hyper masculine persona and, and other videos of yours and I feel like I guess I I'd kind of miss that side of you as well yeah if, if you're just if you're going totally feminine uh, now so I guess, so I guess I mean, there's there's that part of me that kind of uh, you know wants to see the many sides of, of math of math fails and not just the feminine side um, but uh, but in the, at the same time that's kind of as it's kind of an excuse for my, you know, 
shouldn't cover up just my discomfort with something that I shouldn't be uncomfortable with. So um, I guess there's my answer for you. Um, well, thanks for listening. Bye.